What's going on YouTube? It's Jamel again with Focused Hands. If you want to see results like this, stay tuned. Um, chalk up your wood, open your wheels. So I'm gonna take you over to the driver's side real quick and show you what I've done to um, help with the uh, brake fluid not getting everywhere. I use a pole to, to press down on the brake pedal so that it will stop the uh, flow of that door opening we're for so yeah so this use the pole to push down on the brake pedal to stop the flow of brake fluid moving to the lines so that I, I can work and I don't have to clamp anything pretty cool huh I thought so too all right let's get back to the back to the other part gotta get this dust cap off let's see where's the Gotta pull the drum off. Drum comes off like that. I'm gonna throw this to the side. Over here. Let me take it down from this angle so I can actually work. And down. So what we wanna do to, to get everything off quick what you want to do is disassemble the clip here, disassemble the clip here, and this whole assembly should slide out. Let's do that. What you want to use for this part is a pair of needle nose pliers so you can push in and twist and it'll release. Watch and learn. So, for the parking brake cable on here, what you want to do is pull it up and pull it through the little socket, head socket here. See that? So we'll pull it down, I guess in this case, and through the little head and it will come out. It's fighting me right now, but it's through there. And this is out. All together. What you want to do uh, is get this emergency brake cable out of the way. So what you do, there's a little tab right here. You want to push in on that tab to allow the emergency brake to escape, emergency brake cable to escape. So I'm going to push it in. on the tab like that and push it through I can't remember if there's one at the bottom there might be one at the bottom too just pull that through and it's out. Right on. Push that out. 
All right, so now we have to tackle removing this brake line and behind here we want to tackle removing this uh, brake hard line and we want to remove the wheel cylinder and the axle and then the dust cover so let's tackle each of these components separately So I guess the first thing I'm going to do is tackle removing the uh, wheel cylinder, I mean the uh, axle, because the wheel cylinder will, uh, well not the wheel cylinder, the, yeah, the wheel cylinder and the uh, uh, dust, dust cover can both go together. So I'll work on removing that hard line that's back here. Where this hard line is back here. And then I can remove the axle, which would allow me to get rid of the dust cover and the wheel cylinder, wheel cylinder delete altogether. So let's do that. All right, you can't see it, but I removed, oh well, now you can, I removed the uh, brake cable leading, the hard line brake cable leading to the, uh, the wheel cylinder. And the next thing I'm going to do is remove um, this rear shock so that I can get access to the bolts in the back and uh, get off this, this axle. We'll go from there. So let, let me set that up. And we'll do that. And I'm going to do that by uh, jacking up the car. jacking up the rear portion of the car to take the tension off of this uh, shock. All right, I'm gonna get, I got access to that part now. So I'm gonna go under, I think it's a 15 mil bolt. It's a 15, and I'm gonna take it off. Mug it off, really. All right, so now that I have access to the bolts in the back, I'm gonna go ahead and unscrew them. And before I get started, so those axle bolts are uh, 13s.